Hi guys, it's Dan here and today I have for you a quick unboxing and review of Xiaomi Ultra Wide Screen Mi Curved Gaming Monitor. So if you have or you're planning to buy M1 Mac, you are probably aware that when Apple released the new M1 devices, it turned out that they support only one external screen. Of course, there are some workarounds and expensive adapters, but there is no easy way to connect two or more external displays. Before I bought my M1 MacBook, I myself was using two external displays, 27 inches Lenovo screens. You can see here my previous setup. But after I bought M1 MacBook Air, due to lack of choice, I kind of started using one screen for my private MacBook and the other one for my work laptop. Of course, moving from two screens to one is not very pleasant, especially in terms of multitasking. It just seems that there is always not enough space. So after a while, I decided that I will try to get along with M1 limitations and just buy one ultra wide screen. After some research, I chose Xiaomi ultra wide gaming screen, which has 34 inches in a very good price to parameters ratio. As you can see, the screen has WQHD resolution very good sRGB color coverage, 144Hz refresh rate, free sync technology and low blue light mode. You can check all the parameters on Xiaomi's website and let's move to unboxing. If you are new to this channel then please hit the like button to help with YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more reviews and tips on macOS. The box is pretty big, inside of course we have manuals and several languages set of screws, display port to display port cable, two parts of the stand, and of course the screen itself. The stand is very easy to mount, it just slips in with a click, so let me connect it and show you how the whole screen looks like. So this is it, Xiaomi curved gaming monitor, 34 inches. I don't know if this will be clearly visible on the video, but it's really huge. It looks very nice and very clean, there is no logo on the front, and as you can see, it's almost frameless. Let me show you the back. So we have Xiaomi logo here. The stand is very solid, it can be opened for easier cable management. And there is also magnetic cover for the ports. So the design is very well thought through. I'm pretty sure that you will not see any cables looking from the front of the screen. On the left you have five buttons. Of course the power button and four remaining buttons to control brightness, contrast and other preferences that I will show you in a moment. Now let's check the ports. Unfortunately, there is no USB-C port. As you can see, we have two HDMI ports, two display ports, and one port for headphone jack. And on the right side, we have a place to connect the power cable. Now let me show you the cable management. I will take off the cover from the stand, put the cable through and connect it to the port. As mentioned before, the cover is magnetic. As you can see, we have these magnetic connectors here. So the cover almost slips in on its own. So let me put the covers back. And as you can see, when all is done, it looks very clean, even from the side very nice look. The screen connected to my M1 MacBook without any issues. As mentioned before, in the box we have only DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable, so I had to buy DisplayPort to USB-C cable, which supports 144Hz. If you're interested, I will leave the link to the cable in the description below. 
As you can see, I have 144 Hz as promised. But what is worth noting is that the manual actually says that you can get 144 Hz only on display port and on HDMI you can go only as high as 100 Hz. So if you want the highest refresh rate, please be aware that you have to use display port. Except for that, macOS looks really amazing on the screen. By default the colors were a bit muted so I had to adjust it a little bit. So let me now show you the preferences using the buttons on the side. So as you can see on the right side we have approve button, two arrows, up down and cancel. And these correspond to the buttons on the back so you can easily control the settings without checking which button is which. So the settings are pretty standard, brightness contrast, picture, PQ settings, smart mode, window settings and general settings. You can also enable here picture in picture mode with split mode which means that you can connect two devices and just split the screen in half. The full resolution is 3440 to 1440 which is perfect for me since the screens that I was using before were 2K so now I have the same resolution on the shorter edge but just more space on the side, like two monitors joined together, which is exactly what I needed. Of course for a screen like this I would advise you to use some window management app such as Magnet or something similar. And as you can see with app like this, working with multiple windows and multitasking in general is just a pure pleasure. I'm using this screen now for over two weeks and I'm super satisfied with it. Before I had always my MacBook open to have some smaller secondary screen, but now I don't really need anything else. If you are lucky I think you can grab Xiaomi screen even for $350, which I think is amazing price for this screen. So if you are looking for an ultra wide screen for your M1 MacBook, this one is definitely something to consider. Ok guys, thank you for watching, I hope you liked this video, if yes please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos and reviews like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.